and welcome back YouTube. This is Booster Vax Vester here with my Fate Grand Order <clears throat> Wafer Trading Card Collection video. This video is basically just to share with you how I present and store my FGO Wafer Trading Card Collection. It's also just a nice little trip down memory lane slash recap of my collection to this point. Please keep in mind, this is pre-set 7, so I have not opened anything from set 7. And this is also uh, not including anything from set 3, because I missed the boat on that, and I was not able to get anything from set 3 at this point. Also keep in mind that this collection is two boxes from each set. I did not open anything more than two boxes, and I did not open anything less than two boxes from each set that is featured here. So without further information, let's get into it. This is set one, where we have a full sheet of nine commons here, very lovely. Uh, definitely favorite from this page is probably Elizabeth. Very awesome character, and I really, really like the figure that I recently got of her, and I happen to have done just recently a figure review of her too, and it is a fantastic figure, definitely worth picking up. One thing I do want to note before I continue, unlike most trading card games that I collect, this particular set I do not uh, have back to back. I just have one card per sleeve and that's simply because the front and back of the card are drastically different. As the front you have the very lovely image, the back you have the stat of the character, so that's why I would only do it uh, one card per sleeve instead of back to back. So just keep that in mind. This page is almost full. I'm only missing one card and that is uh, this particular super rare number 15. I believe that's Skalthok. Um, otherwise very lovely set of eight cards here. Definitely a favorite is Francis Drake. Really wish that they would make an official uh, licensed scale figure of her. Still waiting for that day. And on this side, we have all but one card. The last two down here are actually filler spaces because each set only contains 25 cards. So 9 does not divide by 25, so you have always end up with two extra spaces at the bottom. This card is, is indeed a super rare that I'm missing. I believe it's Altera Pendragon, but I'm not 100% sure. It would be number uh, 21 out of the set. Favorite card on this page? Uh, that's a tough one. I probably gotta go with... Uh, Joan of Arc Altar, though. Alright, so that's it for set one. Now we're on to set two. Uh, a full page of nine commons once again. So this page is full. Favorite card here? Ooh, that's a tough one. It has to be a tie between a, a Nycross and Joan of Arc Santa Lily. Both are very great cards. I don't know which one I would choose between the two. Honestly, I think I'm leaning more towards this one. Up next, we have yet another full sheet of cards, so that is awesome. We got three commons on top and three rares, or six rares, sorry. Got a great cast of characters. Medusa is always a lovely card. Really wish she was hollow, though. Um, Mysterious Heroine X is also very cool. Ah, uh, and then you got uh, Karna, who's also very interesting. Between the three, mm, honestly, I kind of like Karna, and then Medusa, and then Mysterious Heroine X. And then, oh, 
we have such a fantastic set of super rares here. And also another great rare into Momocat. I did actually complete all of set 2, so that was a fantastic set. I was very happy with that. Um, uh, Mana is probably really cool, but also uh, Shuten uh, Doji is also really cool. One of those two has to be my favorite. I, I gotta give it to uh, uh, Doji there. It's just such a fantastic card character overall. Alright, so we move on to the next set. Unfortunately, I am indeed missing a common. This is set number four. The, uh, what I like to call it, the Summer Banner set, because I had a lot of swimsuit variants. I am missing number nine. I don't remember which one, which one that is off the top of my head. As far as favorite card from this particular set, that's kind of hard. This one here is really nice. I'd also like this guy up here because he reminds me of Crocodile. You know what? I gotta give it to Tesla. Tesla was just such an incredible creator back in the day. Way ahead of his time. Definitely have to give it to Tesla. And then we have this particular sheet, which does happen to be full. So that's three more commons and three and six rares. Um I probably have to give it to Ishtar, closely followed by Skothok the Assassin. Very, very awesome set of cards here. And then we go to the Secrets. I did not have as great luck on the Secrets this time around. I am actually missing yet another Super and two Secrets. I did happen to pull the Super Secret Rare though, so that was nice. Definitely favored out of these four has to go to Tamomo. Super, super great card. We move on to set 5. Once again, I do happen to be missing a normal card, so that is our common card. That is very unfortunate. But we do have a pretty nice cast of characters. You know what? I do have to give it to... Uh, apologies. A little bit of gleam is coming off of here. Ranma as my favorite card on this particular page. Really awesome, elaborate outfit. Although this one, if they ever made a figure of this particular one, it would go great with uh, Santa Lily. And I could, you could have like a little Christmas theme going on there. Very cool. This is yet another page. It is actually completely filled out with three commons and six rares. Uh, Ultra Pin Dragon, Santa Lily, is definitely a standout here. But I also kind of like the uh, Queen's Blade feel of Elizabeth in her... Is that a Barbarian outfit? Very cool. And this is the Secret Rare page. Actually did very well on the Secret Rare page. Oddly enough, I'm only missing, I believe, one common from set number four. Or is it five? Yeah, from this set I'm only missing one common, which I think is pretty dang good. Uh, I absolutely love the Amaterasu-like wolf there. Super fantastic card. I did double up here just to uh, fill a space right now, so I am missing, apologies, I thought I wasn't missing, but I am missing one secret rare here. So I'm only missing one secret, and one, or one super, and one normal. So that's not too bad, in my opinion, out of two boxes. 
favorite SR probably has to... Mm. You know what? I Iskander is pretty cool, but I have to give it to the uh, Lightning Queen. I'm not 100% not sure how to say her name correctly, so I don't want to pronounce it and just uh, butcher it. So with that, we're on to the next set. Is this the last one? Yes, it is. Okay. So this is set number six. Uh, complete set of commons for the first page. So that is very nice. Of course, the Julius Caesar, which is such a pain in the game because it feels like every time that he's in a option to get, you get him about every third roll, it seems like. Other than that, uh, this page, I, I definitely have to give it to uh, Mozart here. Or is that Wolfgang? Yeah, that's Wolfgang Mozart. Definitely have to give it to Mozart. Super fantastic character design. Next would have to be, have to be uh, Oda, Nub Oda Nobunaga. Up next, we have a complete page two with three commons so that's a complete common set for set six and three rares i absolutely adore the attila attila is one of my favorite character designs in the game but i also really like the uh hassan of serenity here the figure of this character is fantastic definitely worth recommending and i really hope that someday we get a full-scale figure of BB too, because she's a very popular character. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't made one yet. And now we have reached the final page. I'm actually only missing one secret rare here. For a lo I do not know which card that secret rare is off the top of my head. I have to go back and check. But I think that's pretty good. I did get the uh, super secret rare and I was very happy with that. Honestly, there's too many good cards to pick on this page. I have to probably give it to Passion Lib for sure. Uh, the Super Secret Rare, probably my next best card on this page. This page is full of wonder. So overall, only missing one card out of this set. I'd say that's pretty good out of two boxes. And I believe that is it. Uh, yes, it is. That's just my Boba Book cards that I opened up a long time ago. You guys probably don't want to see that right now. So with all that, that is indeed my Fate Grain Order Away for Trading Herd Collection Preset 7. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Boosterbox Buster with his Wildcard Wednesday. Signing out.